everyone, Frypone here, back with another video, and today we are going to take a look at AMSI Killer. So Zero Memory X has created AMSI Killer, and this is an interesting AMSI patch. It bypasses AMSI by patching it in memory. So what it does is, if you take a look, it patches the first byte and changes it from a JE into a jump instruction. So right here, this is now a jump, so it reverts it back, right? So instead of it going into the AMSI process, it just doesn't. It jumps back into the next instruction. So interesting that they were able to do this. Now, the significance of this is that it's a packaged executable. A packaged executable, while useful, is not so great when you're trying to use PowerShell as your attack vector, right? You're trying to be in memory. But this is a interesting way of bypassing things if you absolutely must. So let's take a look at how this works. So over here, I have my typical user, Clint Barton. He's an admin on the machine, and I can show you that when you met the full group. Administrators. And we can see Clint Barton is a local admin. And also, Defender is enabled. It will probably eat this at some point during this demo. It really depends on how Defender is behaving. Now, Defender, as you can see, is enabled, but I have turned off automatic sample submission. I am tired of submitting samples that I'm working on in my lab and them getting eaten when I need them for an engagement. So I don't have automatic sample submission on anymore, but cloud delivery protection, real-time protection, and tamper protection are on. All right, so we are in PowerShell here, and I'm gonna exit PowerShell just to get out and go back in cleanly so everybody understands. Let's go back into PowerShell. And as most of you know, PowerShell will not let you run invoke dash mimikatz if it is fully uh, protected by Defender. So we'll just do invoke dash mimikatz. Even if I don't have mimikatz on the system, this will still trigger with AMSI. It's going to say script contains malicious content, right? Because it's triggered on that. Now, once we run AMSI killer, this will stop working. So we'll go ahead and we'll run AMSI killer now. We have AMSI killer.exe. I downloaded this from uh, my Kali box over here by Updog. I compiled this locally. Didn't really obfuscate it very much. Um, as you can see, Defender has not eaten this yet. And it's going to run. We can see process ID, address, offset, and AMSI is patched. So now when we clear screen here, when we run invoke Mimikatz, it is not recognized. So it's a different message. So that means that AMSI is out of our way. So we'll go ahead and we'll clear screen one more time. And I'm going to do a download cradle. I'm just going to download invoke Mimikatz right from Nishang. This is the working one that I use straight from Nishang. And we'll see, normally it would say that's a problem, but it let that go in. So now if I do invoke, Mimi cats, and I give it the command up. See, there it ate. It ate Amzi Killer, but it doesn't matter because we've already patched memory. So we'll just give it the command coffee, just to let you know this. This lets you know Mimi cats works. And in a second here, we should pop it. There it goes. So Mimikatz running in memory. We successfully bypassed AMSI, of course, there. Defender finally caught it. But if you need to run a tool, you should be able to do so with this bypass. Now, most of the time, you're not doing invoke Mimikatz, right? You're doing something like Seatbelt or another executable that you need for your engagement. Uh, safety cats, something like that. Uh, but Mimikatz getting by at all is a good example of how how well this works. So feel free to check this out. And that's all I've got for this week. Thanks, everyone. Uh, keep liking and subscribing to the channel. It's uh, we've, we've got quite a few subscribers now, and the numbers are growing every day. So thanks again. And once again, I will leave you with Hack the Planet to Defend Better.